One of the top 10 Minecraft hacks that you need to know to do any good in your Minecraft world. Without these, your Minecraft world is not going to be very good. So, to be very good at Minecraft, you need to watch this video. And the hacks will get better as the video goes on, so you need to watch till the end. Now let's get started. The first Minecraft hack is kind of an early game one. It is lighting an animal on fire. And then killing it. This will cause it to always drop cooked food. This will make your food much better and you won't have to spend a lot of time waiting for food to smelt in a furnace. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of coal. Speaking of coal, the second hack is using charcoal. I don't want to give too much away without promoting myself, so if you've liked the video so far, I would really like it if you would like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. So please subscribe or at least just like to help the algorithm like so sometimes you're really early game and you need to smelt food, but you don't have any coal yet. This is where charcoal comes in. You can smelt logs with planks as fuel and you'll get charcoal. Charcoal has a similar lasting power to actual coal and it is very helpful early game, though I do not really recommend it for a late game player since when you're late game, coal is very easy to get. So you may be tempted to throw away your old wooden tools once you get a stone one, but what most people don't know is that you can actually use all your old wooden tools as fuel. It's not great fuel, but it is fuel nonetheless, so if you're having trouble finding coal, this can help you out in a pinch. As you can see, it doesn't last very long though, so it can't really smelt that much. You built yourself a gold farm and you have all this random gold armor and golden swords stacking up and you don't know what to do with them. Instead of throwing them out, did you know you can actually smelt all your gold armor and tools? That's actually completely right. You can smell all gold armor and all gold tools into a single golden nugget each. It's not a great conversion rate, like with a chest plate, it's literally eight gold ingots to one gold nugget. But if you have like a gold farm and you're getting a ton of excess gold armor and you need a lot of gold, this could help at least kind of make you have to do less AFK at that gold farm. And it's just something to do with it so you don't have to throw it all away. Let's say you found one of the now let's say you found one of these underwater ravines and you want to go mining in it since you know that here's a little bonus hack more ores spawn when not exposed to air however you keep drowning here's a hack you can just place down a door and go inside and boom air you get an air pocket from doors this is really helpful while trying to mine in underwater areas since, as I already mentioned, it's a bonus hack. More ores spawn when they're not exposed to air and they also spawn in larger veins. Like a vein of diamonds in an underwater ravine is likely to be bigger than one just exposed to air. This is super helpful when trying to get resources. Now let's talk about carpet and rail dupers. Now, if you need a lot of carpets for some reason, you can build a contraption like this, and you can see it's shooting carpets that way, so maybe it's better if I do it over here. You see that it shoots carpets, and this is super helpful, whereas you can't really spam this, it doesn't work as well. Since the piston will double extend, and actually it can sometimes break the carpet when you do that. It looks like this. I'll give you a second to copy the design. Go to build in your world. Now let's talk about rail dupers. This is a rail duper. You can see that it essentially just shoots rails. And they are all ending up over there. And again here, I'll let you look at the design so you can copy it really easily. These are very helpful if you need a lot of rails or if you need a lot of carpets for any reason. But now let's move on to the next thing. Them sorters. Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft even, has a way for you to sort individual items very easily. This is a stackable item sorter, and I have it set to cobblestone. Here, I'll let you look at the design for a second. And when I have cobblestone and these filler blocks, if you're having filler blocks, you need to make sure that nothing of that filler block will end up in that storage system. So you might want to just rename it. So if I put dirt through it 
it does not end up in it does end up in here as you can see because I use that as my filler block however if I put a redstone torch in there it goes straight through to the end and if I put cobblestone in there now it's gonna go in here down into here and here's an unstackable item sorter and as you can see if I put stackable items through it it they don't go through they'll just go straight to here not going through now if I get myself a stackable item like a sword and put it in you can see that it'll go right down here and this will let you sort out stackable items and stackable items have a tendency to accidentally break storage systems if they are too close because you need a gap between these otherwise the redstone will connect and that will completely break it so that's a big no-no so yeah this is item sorters dig a big hole in something but you don't have enough materials to get 63 quintillion TNT here is a TNT duper this lets me just dupe TNT digging a hole and here's exactly how it's built I'll just do a quick fly around and for this this is a activator rail or a detector rail detector rail and you have to put the minecart on it and then push it on since here I'll show you what happens so let's say I just place a detector rail and place the minecart on it it just lights it and then I guess you can just place TNT here and have it fall I don't really know why you'd want to do that but yeah you have to shove it on otherwise it won't work with a piston here I'll do an example and now it will work and you can do TNT as much as you want this is great for digging holes and let's move on to sand dupers final hack is villager trading this lets you trade with villagers for books that are very hard to get like let's say you want a sharpness 5 book you can do this look at what they have break it replace it I swear that was second try oh my god and now you can buy sharpness 5 this is way more efficient than using the enchanting table but it takes a little bit longer to set up as you need a village or a villager breeder which you need a village to get villagers anyway it makes it so much easier to have good enchants it's far easier to get maxed out gear with villager trading than it is to just enchant it since in just enchanting it usually doesn't give you all the enchants you want you'll get like only like unbreaking two or like sharpness four it's just a pain in the neck so villager trading is a super useful hack and if you've enjoyed this video i'd like to once again remind you to please subscribe to my channel these videos take a lot of work to make and I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed as it helps me out a ton. I'll see you tomorrow.